Great, great to meet you. Great to meet uh, you. Before we talk about the film, uh, you you owe me an apology because emotionally I was absolutely broken by the end of this film. <laughs> Everybody in the screening was stumbling out. The women were desperately trying to put their makeup right before they went. The blokes were. I need to rehydrate. <laughs> I cried so much. I, I hate to be laughing at your sadness, but <laughs> it's, it's, a it's, a, it's a nice feeling because I, I feel like you know, the movie is, um, I mean, I feel like it's successful when it, when it moves people to that place. And I think that's not to say the point because I feel like any response is appropriate, sure. but it's nice. It's nice to hear. It is quite extraordinary looking at you physically as the boxer. I can't imagine what you had to go through to get into that sort of condition? Well, I didn't know how to box when I first started the process. I was nervous because I knew nothing really about boxing and I hadn't You'd done never that boxed before. before? You'd never I mean, a bit, you know, you know, cardio, bit of aerobic, yeah, 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 a bit of mitts every once in a while. But, um, and so I knew I really had to learn how to box. And more than that, I just had to feel confident and as some, somewhat graceful doing it. I've done a lot of boxing in the past and I had a, a, a charity boxing fight um, and did a lot of sparring. But the thing that happens is you have in your eye, you have an idea of how you look when you box. Yeah. But beginning boxers, amateur boxers, are nowhere near as graceful as professional boxers. Yeah. And really, my fight was a couple of blokes throwing handbags around after having a two, you know, we're all, <laughs> we're essentially slapping each other. Yeah. And that's not what you, you can't do that because he's a world champ yeah. and you've got to be believable. Everything has to be perfect. It has yeah. to be like a professional would do it. But the relationship between your character and your daughter and little Luna that plays your daughter is just remarkable. That's what broke me because of course they, they go through this extraordinary um, uh, fall from grace and, and battle. The second she, Una Lawrence who plays my daughter came in to read for the role I just fell in love with her you know I mean she, you know she won a Tony playing Matilda on Broadway mm. um, so she's highly skilled but Really, I just, her personality, you know, she walked in with these oversized tennis shoes and, you know, these, like, colorful patterned leggings and these glasses, and she was just a real girl, you know, and, and so I saw her, and I, I really fell for her immediately, and, and that never ended throughout the whole, mm. the whole shoot, you know, not only my respect for her as an actor, which sort of just made me fall for her even more every time we'd do a scene yeah. because it was fun to work with her, but just her as a, as a human. So that stuff came very easily, that, that love between us, was just inherent, and uh, I, I, I adore her. Yeah. I really adore her. If you set out to break me completely, you did absolutely break, <laughs> uh, Jay. I, I, Making me laugh. Yeah, like, if I you set out to break me, I'm like, <laughs> it. it worked. Like, it's an evil genius. Uh, Jake, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank, thank you for coming, you, and best man. of luck thank with the you movie. Thank you so much. Uh, I thoroughly you. enjoyed it. It was great. Thank you. For some reason or the other, when I said it, I'll be back, I just felt there was this owl. It, it didn't sound strong enough that it maybe would be a mach more machine-like saying, I will be back. And uh, James Cameron said, no, I'll just stay with, I'll be back. No.